Hey guys, I wanted to give you a tutorial on um, the wedgie flick up. It's basically where you backspin the hoop to yourself and then you flick it up to your hands from your knees. I don't know, it's really kind of crazy. It looks awesome. Um, people are always in awe by it. Um, it's really not that hard. So I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to do it. So I'll show you the trick first and then I'll go into detail on how to do it. It's pretty simple. You should be able to get it down. Um, the people that I've taught have gotten it down pretty quick. So, here you go. So it's really quick. I'm sorry that he's in the way, but it's really quick. So basically, first off, you need to know how to backspin the hoop. So you're gonna backspin it to yourself. That was awful. Backspin it to yourself. And then once you get it, you want it to be most of your hoop behind you. Um, when you start out, you really want um, you really want to know how to do it without the backspin first. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to have the majority of your hoop behind you, as you can see, and then you're going to have the little bit in front of you. The hoop is going to be on your right side. You're going to take your leg, your left leg, and you're going to stick it out. He's obsessed with feet. Um, you're going to stick it out, and then you're going to tuck your knee in. Remy. Sorry. He's being a huge pain. Um, you're going to tuck your knee in, and then you're going to tuck your ankle, too. So essentially, this is what it's going to look like. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna step down on your on your tippy toes and then the leverage between the two is gonna as you bring your leg down you go from your tippy toes down to your heel like normal and as you're doing that you'll see the hoop will move so then what you're gonna do is you're going to lift your leg into the hoop so um, before you do the backspin, obviously you're not going to have enough momentum, um, which is why, so if you have your hoop on your side, like so, and you're going to tuck your left leg, or wrap it around, tuck your ankle in, you're obviously not going to have enough <laughs> momentum the first time. I only do because I've done this a million times. So. You really have to push with your right leg on the inner thigh to get that, you know, to get that push. So you're gonna push with the back of your knee where the hoop touches and your inner thigh where your hoop touches with your other leg. So you're really gonna push it and step in. So then your overall, you're gonna backspin the hoop. You're gonna kind of catch it a little bit at your side and then you're going to wrap your leg, push down on your tippy toes, and then step into it and push. So I'll show you from behind too what it looks like. It's pretty cool. Um, it's really not as hard as it seems. It's just a lot going on at once. So really focus on doing it without the backspin first. So you have, like I said, you have your leg wrapped in it. That's the biggest thing, so is how your leg is wrapped in. So your leg's gonna go across the hoop, tuck your leg inside of the hoop, and then point your toe down and touch the ground. That's the biggest thing. That's the one thing that I can like really stress to you. And then, I mean, for those of you that can't get that one, there's another one that's a starter where you start in between your legs and you basically take your leg, step inside the hoop. Well, ignore this. <laughs> so you're gonna step your right foot in not your left foot, um, into the hoop and you're going to pull back. Both legs have to be inside the hoop. Sorry, it's been a while since I've done this. Left foot in, 
right foot in, but your feet are going to crisscross. So it's like you have to pee really bad. Um, and so then you're going to pull the hoop back with your right leg, and then your leverage will push the hoop up your body. So you're going to let go, and this is almost like a lever. It's going to let go, and then the hoop's going to push up. And so basically when you let go, when you let go from here, you have to step your leg back inside. So, ta -da. So, I don't know if that was more confusing. That's a totally different trick. Um, but yeah, pretty much. I hope that was helpful.